Every year, the experts at U.S. News & World Report rank the nation's best hospitals. They've recognized St. Vincent as the number one hospital in Arkansas and listed eight clinical areas as high-performing specialties. The next closest Arkansas hospital only had three. This recognition is due to the unwavering commitment of our world-class physicians, dedicated nurses, and associates who have now made St. Vincent the state's number one hospital. Welcome back everybody. Dr. Thermal Dubaca with the Longevity Center at St. Vincent is here talking more about osteoarthritis today. Dr. Dubaca, thanks so much hey, for coming. Great to see you again, good sir. Happy you. Friday. Thank you. Um, it might not be so happy for folks out there with uh, something like osteoarthritis, a, a joint disease that we hear so many Americans deal with and so many people out in the world have to deal with on a daily basis. First kind of break down what it is and how it affects people. Sure. Osteoarthritis is the most common joint disorder out there. According to the latest statistics, 27 million Americans have it. Wow. And uh, there's more diagnosed every day. Yeah. And what osteoarthritis is, uh, think of a joint as being formed between two bones. Mm -hmm. Take, for example, your knee. You have the thigh bone and knee, the bone below in your leg, and they both join together. And uh, nature has it in such a way there's a cartilage to smooth out the movement between these two joints. And it's when the top layer of this cartilage breaks down, the wear and tear of this top layer, okay. that's when we call it osteoarthritis because the bones are closer to each other. Okay, and of course that's gotta be a shooting pain up your leg whenever you have two bones kind of grinding against each other, I can't even imagine, but you talk about, uh, you know, different ways to know if it's arthritis or osteoarthritis. How does someone truly know? Is it, is it that type of pain that's so definitive that, and it's continual that you, you know this has to be something serious? Or is it just one of those pains you, you need to go see your doctor about? Well, uh, there are definitely things that we can, uh, that are very distinctive for osteoarthritis. Yeah. Um, we, a diagnosis is made taking into consideration the history, what's going on with the patient, the exam findings, and also some of the risk factors that mm -hmm. the patient seems to be having. Like uh, people typically over the age of 45 tend to have this kind of arthritis. Okay. And it, here's an interesting uh, statistic too. Below the age of 55, men seem to have more osteoarthritis, but after the age of 55, women tend to be really? having it more often. And, and that's because, you know, uh, younger men below the age of 55, they tend to be rougher on their joints. And uh, of course, there are other risk factors. Heredity plays a role. Okay. If you've had a family member, uh, that becomes a uh, possibility. And also, the typically, it's the pain and the stiffness in the joint. And especially, the stiffness is called the stiffness after resting. So sitting for a while and then trying to move the joint, that brings on the pain. Okay. Or as sleeping overnight, first thing in the morning, you have stiffness and pain. That is very classic for osteoarthritis. Let's talk about some of the treatment options. Uh, we, sure. You know, this is something that uh, 27 million Americans have to deal with. What, what's the treatment available out there for people who have There's this? plenty of treatment options, and uh, it depends on how the severity of the disease, uh, starting from the mild to the severe. Uh, for milder uh, early stages of arthritis, there are things that can be done uh, with the most common over-the-counter preparations like analgesics, mm -hmm. like astamidophen, brand name Tylenol. Okay. I, I usually have patients on at least a couple of weeks of good dose of Tylenol. People are worried about, you know, how they, they usually don't take enough of the regular pain medication before moving on to the stronger ones, uh, the uh, anti-inflammatories because there's inflammation setting in in the joint. And uh, moving on, uh, we have uh, other means like splints, braces, canes, walkers for slightly more severe. And in the end, there, there's always the option to replace the joint, put uh, some metal in there. <laughs> yes, and that, uh, you know, that's something that we're seeing more and more that's nowadays, true. especially as, as you get older than 55, you know, there's more and more people going with that option just to kind of start fresh, I sure, guess. All sure, right. Well, in the severe form of arthritis that hasn't responded to therapy, and yeah. you know, if it interferes with the lifestyle, that's when uh, we call it and uh, decide to go ahead with the joint replacement. Okay, well, there it is today for you folks. If you're knowing anyone with that issue or if you have that issue yourself, there is help available. You can go see a doctor at the Longevity Center at St. Vincent. The number is on your screen. And Dr. Dubaka, thanks so much for coming. Thank in. you. Hope you have a great weekend. Thank you.